welcome back everyone so today i will be sharing eight best windows registry hack to improve the gaming on your windows 11 and windows 10 and all these windows registry hack will ensure that your pc give you the best gaming experience that it is capable of but before starting guys make sure that you hit the like subscribe and turn the bell notification on so that you can get all the upcoming videos notification and even it motivate me to bring more valuable videos for you you can also join my membership plan where you can get the live chat with me in order to fix any kind of your problem or to get any kind of suggestion okay so without any delay let's quickly get started now one more thing i would recommend you that before starting kindly go ahead and create a restore point so that in future in case if this doesn't work for you or you want to change the action then you can quickly do that very simple click on your windows search type restore from the suggestion click on create a restore point then you have to click on create but in case if the create option is not being highlighted then you have to click on configure and make sure the system protection has been turned on once turned on you have to click on apply click on ok and now you can click on create and here you have to give a name of the restore point so that you can identify that when and why did you create a restore point so i will give a name like gaming registry hack you can give any name that you want to and then you have to click on create and it will take few seconds only to create a restore point once it will be created you have to click on close now in future if you want to restore back then again you have to come back to the same option you have to click on system restore click on next you will find your restore point over here you have to click on next and once you click on the finish the restore will be started okay now let's get back to the registry hack so in order to open the registry editor you have to click on your windows search type registry and from the suggestion you have to click on registry editor click on yes and the registry editor will be up and here the very first hack that we will be applying we will be disabling the power throttling so windows throttle cpu power in different situation to save power and this can be really bad for game as not only does it affect your cpu performance but also the gpu performance from the left in menu option you have to double click on hq local machine then you have to look for system double click on it then double click on current control set and then you have to double click on control now in control here you have to look for an entry by the name power so keep scrolling down to the p section and you will find the power key over here once you get it again make a double click on it and here you have to look for a key by the name power throttling if you don't find it then you have to make a right click on the power hover up to new click on key and rename it as power throttling you have to type exactly as i typed over here once you have created click on power throttling now on the right hand side make a right click on the blank space hover up to new click on dual 32 bit value and rename it as power throttling off again you have to type exactly then you have to double click on it and you have to change the value data from 0 to 1 now click on ok so we are done with the first hack now you can just unexpand all these options and go back again to the hq local machine and now we have to disable the network throttling so windows has a default mechanism to throttle the network under certain circumstances and it mainly affects non-media content however depending on your network speed and usage it can also affect gameplay and lead to high ping and spike so in order to disable it again you have to make a double click on hq local machine then you have to double click on software in the software you have to look for microsoft double click on it and in the microsoft you have to look for windows nt so come to the w section and you will find somewhere windows nt once you get it again double click on it then double click on current version now in the current version you have to look for a key by the name multimedia come to the m section and you will find somewhere multimedia make a double click on it then click on system profile and once you click on system profile on the right hand side you will find network throttling index you have to make a double click on it and here you have to change the value data to eight time f okay so type f for eight time then you have to click on ok and now we are done with disabling the network throttling so now we will not be having any problem with the ping and with the spike okay so again you have to go back and now next we have to optimize the tcp that is the transmission control protocol that governs how computers establish connection and reliably exchange data over network 
ensuring data arrive correctly and in the right order. So optimizing TCP directly improve your connection bandwidth usage, lower the latency and it stabilizes the connection. So from the left hand menu option again, you have to click on HK local machine. Then you have to click on system, double click on it. In the system, you have to look for current control set, double click on it. And in the current control set, you have to look for services, double click on services. And now in the services, you have to look for TCP IP. So come to the T section and here you will find TCP IP. Once you get it, make a double click on it. And now here click on parameters. And now on the right hand side, we have to create some values. So make a right click on the blank space over up to new. Click on dot 32 bit value. And the first value will be default TTL. Okay, again, you have to type all the name exactly I'm typing. So it will be default TTL. Now make a double click on it and change its value data from 0 to 64. Click on OK. Now next, again, make a right click over up to new. Choose dot 32 bit value. And this you have to name as global max TCP window size. Okay, once you have typed it, again, make a double click on it and change its value data to 65535. Again, click on OK. Now next, again, right click on the blank space over up to new, choose door 32 bit value. This one you have to name as max user port. Again, double click on it, change the value data to 65535. Again, click on OK. Right click on the blank space over up to new, door 32 bit value. This one TCP 13230PTS. Now again, make a double click on it and change its value data from 0 to 1. Click on OK. Now next right click again new dot 32 bit value. This one will be TCP max DUP ACKS. Again make a double click on it and change its value data to 2. Click on OK. And now the last one will be TCP time wait delay. Okay, I will also leave all this name in the description so that you should not get confused. So now double click on TCP timed wait delay and change its value data from 0 to 30. Now click on OK. And we are done with the optimizing the TCP as well. And now in the next hack, we will be permanently changing the game priority to high or real time. So what happened when you enjoy any kind of game, you go to the task manager and change the game priority order to high from normal. But as soon as you restart the game or restart your computer, the priority goes back again to normal. So what we will be doing, we will be changing the game priority of any particular game to always high. So again, double click on HK local machine. Then you have to look for software, double click on it. In the software, you have to look for Microsoft. Double click on Microsoft. Then you have to look for Windows NT. So come to the W section and look for Windows NT double click on windows nt then you have to double click on current version and then you have to look for image file execution to so come to the i section and you will find image file execution option and once you come up over here what you have to do you need to right click on it hover up to new and then click on key now you need to rename this key with the name of that game for which you want to change the game priority order so let's say if you want to change the game priority order for your Valorant game, so you will have to bring up your Valorant game or whichever game you enjoy, you have to bring it up. And once the game comes up, you have to go to the task manager. The task manager, you have to look for your game. Like I'm looking for Valorant. So I will right click on it. Click on go to details. Again, you have to look for Valorant. This is the name that we need. And in order to get this name, right click on it. And then you have to click on properties. Now copy this name, again come back to the registry editor, right click on it, then click on rename. Now paste that name that you have copied. Now again right click on this game key that you have created, hover up to new, click on key. And this one you have to rename it as perf, prf, then options. Once created, click on it. Now on the right hand side, you have to make a right click on the blank space, hover up to new. Then click on dot 32 bit value. And this one you have to rename as CPU priority class. Then make a double click on it and change its value data from 0 to 3. Okay, now if I click on OK and again if I go to the task manager, right click on the Valorant, 
four up to set priority and if i change to high or real time this time so now even if i restart my game or restart my computer the game priority will not be coming back to normal and it will be always set to high or real time whichever you have set so this is an amazing registry hack that you should apply right now for the game that you enjoy on your computer all right so now in the next hack we will be disabling the cpu core parking so when there is less load on the cpu windows can turn off cpu core to conserve power and minimize heat but if you're looking for the best gaming experience then turning off this feature can slightly improve your performance so again you have to go back to hk local machine so just unexpand all these items double click on hk local machine then you have to double click on system then you have to look for current control set double click on it then look for control double click on it and in the control you have to look for the power so come to the p section and look for the power option here now double click on power here and in the power you will be getting the power setting option again double click on power settings and now here in the power setting you have to look for a key that is start with 54533251 this one you will also find in your registry editor once you get this one you have to double click on it and here you have to look for another key that is start with 0cc5b647 and end with 583 now once you get it again click on it and now on the right hand side you will find a value by the name attribute just double click on it and its value data should be selected to one you have to change it to zero then you have to click on ok and now you are all done with this part as well and now in the next hack we will be disabling the naglis algorithm so by default windows uses naglis algorithm that ensure network efficiency by storing a small packet and sending them as large packet they save bandwidth and prevent a network congestion however in online gaming this behavior can also introduce latency as the network wait for a sufficient packet to accumulate before sending them so it will be a better choice if you do the gaming then you should disable the naglis algorithm in order to disable it first you will have to find the ip address of your computer so click on your windows search type cmd click on command prompt and here you have to type a simple command that will be ipconfig or a slash all now if you hit the enter key and this will list you all kind of your network details so here you have to look for ip version 4 address and on my end this is the ip address of my computer so what you can do you just have to keep a note or you can minimize it because this ip you will need in the next step okay so what we can do now we can minimize it again come back to the registry editor now here you have to double click on hq local machine then double click on system then you have to look for current control set double click on it then you have to look for services double click on it and in the services again you have to look for tcp ip so scroll down and you will find tcp ip again double click on it and then you have to double click on parameters and then you have to double click on interfaces now interfaces you will find some kind of entries over here now you have to look all the entries here and find out the one that contain your ip address that you check in the previous step okay so first i will click on the first one and then on the right hand side you have to look for the dhcp i don't find on this one so i'll go with the second one and i can find the dhcp ip address in this key on the right hand side and if i double click on it i can see the same ip address here that i checked in the previous step of command prompt right so that means this is the entry that we are looking for this is the key that we are looking for so now here only what you have to do make a right click on the blank space or up to new choose do or 32 bit value then you have to rename this as tcp no delay then you have to double click on it and you have to change the value data from 0 to 1 click on ok again right click on the blank space over up to new choose do or 32 bit value and rename as tcp ack frequency again double click on it and change the value data from 0 to 1 click on ok okay so we are also done with this hack and now in the next registry hack we will be increasing the system responsiveness so by default windows makes sure that your 20 percent of cpu resources are reserved for low priority task you can further decrease this to 10% to free up more resources for foreground processes like games. 
So again, go back to HK local machine, double click on it, then double click on software. Then you have to look for Microsoft, double click on it. In the Microsoft, again, you have to look for Windows NT. So come to the W section and you will find Windows NT over here. Double click on it. Then double click on current version. Then you have to look for multimedia. So come to the M section and you will find somewhere multimedia. Double click on multimedia. Then you have to look for system profile. And here on the right hand side, you will find system responsiveness. Double click on it. And you have to change its value data from 14 to 10. Now click on OK. And now we are remaining only with the final registry hack where we will be decreasing the maximum pre-render frame. But this is only applicable for the people who have the good CPU. Okay, this is not for the people who have the average or low CPU. So if your CPU is good enough to handle your gaming need, then you can decrease the maximum pre-render frame to reduce input latency. Okay, so for that what you can do again from the left in menu option, you have to double click on HK local machine, then double click on software. And in the software, you have to look for a file by the name wow 64320 double click on it. Then you have to look for Microsoft, double click on it. And in the Microsoft, you have to look for direct 3D. Once you get it, click on it. Then on the right hand side, right click on the blank space over up to new and choose divot 32 bit value and rename it as max pre rendered frames. Now double click on it and change its value data from 0 to 1. Click on OK. And now you are all done with all the registry hack. So just go ahead and restart your computer. And now from the next time you will find that there will be a lot of improvement in the gaming that include your lagging issues, that include your performance, high FPS and the lower latency. And I'm very sure that you have applied all of them. And if not, then make sure that you apply all of them. Do not escape any one of them. And if you found this video helpful guys, then do not forget to like and subscribe. And I see you in the next video. Bye-bye.